Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about monthly stock market update and we will figure out is it bull or bear market what's going on with the stock market world on a monthly time frame. Let's move to, to VBull and we'll do technical review. Let's, let's start from USA dollar monthly time frame. If you want to learn more about uh, we both set up just go to the description there is the link about we both set up training and other links about all my trainings let me briefly mention about my setup this line shows colors and values for the moving averages lines white line is a ma200 uh, purple line ma100 uh, blue line ma50 yellow line ma20 red line ma10 green line ma5 and sar it's a uh, stop and reverse signal Red, red dots it's a bearish reversal, green dots it's a bullish reversal. MACD indicator green line, red line signal line, RSI indicator green line and red line and also oscillator green it's a bullish, red it's a bearish. That's all very simple, it's not easy because emotions involved, but if you follow the indicators, indicators do not have emotions, you will be successful. Just follow the trend, don't fight with the trend. And also, uh, I don't use any time frames, weekly, monthly, and quarterly for trading. I just monitor the market trend direction. For swing trading, I'm using 4 hours and daily time frame for entry and exit position. Let's start it. Let's start it monthly time frame for, uh, for Qs. Let's start Q, uh, quarterly. Quarterly USA dollar. DXY USA dollar quarterly. Still bullish, bullish on the moving averages, still about 10, MA10, between MA10 and 5, MACD bullish, RSI bullish, awesome oscillator bullish. Still bullish with bearish divergences on all indicators for quarterly time frame. Monthly time frame, it is bearish, bearish on monthly time frame all, all, on all indicators on the monthly time frame for USA dollar, bearish. And weekly dollar is bullish. That's what we have with dollar. dollar. Let's move to Qs. Let's move to Qs. Let's start from uh, quarterly from Qs. Qs the most powerful bullish index, right? On the uh, quarterly time frame, it is still in bearish trend. MA5 still green line below 10, below red line. Bearish trend, MACD bearish, RSI bearish, also oscillator bearish on quarterly time frame. Monthly time frame, it's monthly, it's a bullish, you see it, it's bullish reversal signal, MA5 is bullish reversal signal, about 20, it is bullish, MAC, bullish reversal signal indicator bullish, MACD is bullish crossover, RSI, also oscillator, all indicators bullish on monthly time frame. Let's move to weekly. Weekly it is bullish also, right? It's, it's overbought on RSI, but it is bullish on all indicators. Weekly. Now let's move to SPX. SPX, S&P 500. Let's start weekly. Bullish trend on all indicators on weekly time frame. Bullish. Except also oscillator. Monthly time frame. Monthly it is bearish. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see weekly. Yeah, it's bullish on all indicators except also oscillator red. Monthly time frame it is MA5 did bullish crossover over 10. It is bullish, it just close about 20. Let me maximize it. <coughs> it is bullish. And the MACD it's bearish, still bearish cross, still MA5 still uh, green line below red, it's still bearish. RSI still bearish, green line below red. Awesome oscillator, green bullish. Two indicators bullish, two indicators bearish on monthly. Quarterly for SP, it is bearish, right? MA5 green line did bearish crossover over 10 over red line. Bearish reversal signal on and MACD bearish, RSI bearish, awesome oscillator bearish, all indicators bearish 
on quarterly time frame for SPX. Let's check uh, weeks. Just, just curious. It's a bearish also. It's disconnected. You see, it is weeks bearish on quarterly, and SPX bearish for quarterly. It's fully disconnected. Monthly, it is bearish, and S SPX monthly is. It SPX monthly is bearish too, right? It's disconnected. Should be opposite weekly this one is still kind of mixed bearish and uh, it is bullish for spx yeah the volatility index is completely disconnected from reality no fear on the market at all dow jones <coughs> dow jones weekly bearish reversal signal ma5 did bearish crossover macd did bearish crossover rsi also oscillator red all indicators bearish on weekly time frame monthly time frame it is yeah on monthly time frame all indicators bearish but ma5 about 10 macd rsi also most later bearish but bullish reversal signal and ma5 bullish interesting three indicators bearish two indicators bullish Mix mode on monthly time frame for Dow Jones. Quarterly Dow Jones, it is bearish, right? It is bearish on MACD, MA5 did bearish crossover over 10, bearish reversal signal, MACD bearish, RSI bearish, also oscillator bearish. Bearish on quarterly time frame. Let's check Russell 2000. Russell 2000 quarterly, let's start also bearish, you see it stopped at the May 20 for last 5 months, it dancing around the May 20. Bearish trend on all indicators on quarterly time frame. Monthly time frame, MA5 green line did bearish crossover over red line, bearish. Bearish reversal signal, MACD red bearish, Haikanachi RSI red bearish a green line below red it's a bearish and awesome oscillator red it's a bearish bearish trend on monthly time frame for russell 2000 on weekly time frame for russell 2000 it is kind of flat macd a moving average is flat a macd flat rsi awesome oscillator red still kind of flat for several days for a couple weeks actually a couple weeks is like, yeah for 10 weeks it's couple months more than 10 weeks it's flat flat completely but it's in a bearish territory below 20 below 200 that's what we have <coughs> and uh, Apple, Apple is yeah on weekly time frame it is bullish on monthly time frame it's also bullish and we are bullish on all time frames and, and quarterly it is yeah it is quarterly still bullish Tesla quarterly it is still bearish quarterly monthly monthly it is bearish and weekly it is bullish baba alibaba group let's see it is bearish weekly bearish crossover bearish weekly on monthly it is bullish alibaba group monthly bullish but remember still below 20. my simple trading style is when bars above 20 it is bullish when bars below 20 it is bearish on BABA, bars below 20, it is bearish, but signal is positive on the moving average is bullish, RSI bearish, awesome sweater bullish. Yeah, quarterly, it is bearish, quarterly not enough data, it's bearish for BABA. NVIDIA, let's check NVIDIA, NVIDIA very powerful. On quarterly, it is bearish and my five did bearish crossover over 10 and 20 bearish trend it did bounce from my 50 it did bounce very far and 
bullish trend on all indicators we see awesome oscillator didn't move anywhere uh, still bearish on quarterly still bearish on quarterly monthly 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 it is bullish right monthly it is very bullish and on week on weekly for nvidia it is bullish huge bull bull uh, bar RSI very overbought territory, very overbought territory, bullish trend on weekly. That's all, very simple, let's do summary. Like I mentioned, Q is the most powerful index, the most positive. It is bullish on all time frame except quarterly. Quarterly it is still bearish. Quarterly it is bearish for all indicators, for all... Uh, for all for all indexes all indexes quarterly they still bearish Qs and SMP on monthly and weekly it's, it is bullish on monthly and weekly they are bullish but actually on, on monthly not not really bullish two indicators bullish two indicators bearish mix mode on monthly but yeah on weekly they all and they all uh, on weekly they're bullish right there on weekly they're bullish the weakest index is a dow jones and iwm iwm and dow jones they are bearish they are bearish they're bearish quarterly they're bearish monthly and they're bearish weekly that's what we observed the iwm and dow jones the weekly index the, week, the weakest indexes and they are bearish on the monthly and weekly time frame and quarterly also that's all that's all for now thank you so much let's move to disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational informational purposes only please read it and remember, for educational purpose, I'm using uh, we are using paper trading account. Let's move to this page. And thank you for watching simple trading style video. I do publish daily updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Also, I do publish weekly and monthly updates for all crypto for for stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos. Thank you so much, and good luck. Bye now.